Hello students, welcome to this session. So, introduction regarding the basic concept of community medicine. So, before getting into the basic concept of medicine, first we will see the definition of community medicine. So, community medicine which is nothing but it is the branch of medicine which is concerned with health care of the population. So, mainly this community medicine deals with the health of the community. It won't uh, concentrate only on the individual patient whereas it concentrate on the entire community for the upliftment and to maintain the healthy community in the country so in uh, with this aspect if you see in the uh, coastal regions where we will be seeing more of dengue or malaria malaria related uh, diseases where this community medicine works over for the preventing of diseases promoting the health as well as the as well as the prolonging the life of the individuals in the community so where this community medicine which uh, it is under the supervision of medical uh, doctors under them where the anganwadi workers asha karyakartas as well as the local dais so with the team effort where they will be working for the upliftment as well as to maintain the community in a healthy aspect it is also defined as a branch of medicine dealing with the healthcare issues affecting community as a whole. As I said before, where this community medicine which deals with the health related issues where the uh, public will be facing or the community will be facing. So, this community medicine will plan such a way that for uh, to promote the health of the individual such a way that you can make the healthy community. Second aspect is uh, uh, specific prevention so from which cause the uh, what is the cause of the specific diseases accordingly they will work on specific uh, prevention as well as prolonging the life of the individual that is the lifespan of the individual uh, should be live in a healthy manner so with that aspect this community medicine will be working so according to WHO so WHO stated this community medicine as it is the art and science of promoting the health preventing the disease, prolonging the life through organized government and community efforts. As said, uh, said before, this is one of the art and science where you are not concentrating only, uh, only on the individual patients, where we are concentrating the on the entire community as a whole. So, by uh, promoting the health, promoting the health which is nothing but by giving the uh, nutritional education, by educating the patients, by conveying regarding the uh, side effects as well as uh, the risk factors to where they are uh, more focused, where they are more exposed, especially occupation related disease as well as other pandemic diseases. So, such way that promoting the health of the uh, individual by taking the uh, seminars, workshops and other uh, social uh, media related uh, publicity for the promoting the health, uh, health of the individuals preventing the disease preventing the disease which is nothing but what are the safety precautions has to be taken care by the individual for preventing the, that specific diseases and prolonging the life once this uh, promoting the health and preventing the diseases is educated in the public in a proper aspect that uh, therefore you can uh, have a good healthy prolonged life so all these uh, efforts are directed to the whole community rather than individual patients as i said before this community medicine mainly concentrate on the community in the sense group of people the population the society than the individual patients so this is according to the uh, the definition according to the world health organization and this community medicine is also called as the public health so, before getting into the basic concept of uh, community medicine, first we have to understand regarding what is the what are the meaning of health and disease. So, that are the basic objectives of uh, this uh, community medicine and to understand the levels of prevention. So, where we are not much aware about the prevention uh, on which level we have to uh, care. So, mainly the prevention aspect is divided into three types that is primary prevention, secondary prevention and tertiary prevention where we will be discussing in the later slides to recognize the third aspect uh, the third objective of this basic concept of community medicine is to recognize the levels and determinants of health so mainly we will be seeing that uh, health, sickness or death 
but it is not the fact so where they will be having the good health negative health preclinical clinical death so there are uh, different stages of health where we will be discussing in this presentation before getting to the as i said before uh, first we should be we should know the meaning of health and disease so health according to who so who defined health in 1984 as a state of complete physical mental social and spiritual well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity so mainly when the individual is having the good health he has to have the step a uh, stable capacity of the physical level mental level social level as well as spiritual level he has to maintain the stable stability in with all these four aspects then only it is considered as health so parallelly the health that doesn't mean the absence of disease but it has a broader concept so once you if you have stable or if you have any variations with uh, these four aspect you can't consider that a patient is having uh, is suffering or is considered as a patient so where it is a broader concept where, where there will be mild variations with that uh, can also be considered as a health but we'll be discussing with the next so wellness will so wellness will there are seven determinants which will be uh, determining which will be influencing the individual health which will be to lead a healthy lifestyle so once a person is uh, having all these seven uh aspects in a very stable manner then you can uh, then it is considered as the individual is enjoying the perfect health so what are those seven uh concepts are so mainly physical level mental level emotional level spiritual level intellectual level occupational health as well as the environmental health so one has to maintain the physical health mental health social health spiritual health intellectual health as well as the environmental health uh, and the occupational health so in uh, we'll see one by one in detail what is physical health what is emotional health what is uh, social health so first we'll see about the physical health so physical health uh, which is considered as when a cell a each and every cell of the body as well as the uh, is uh, functioning each and every cell as well as the organ in a body is performing in a maximum capacity working on this specific uh, maximum capacity that is considered as the physical health coming to the social health social health which is nothing but when the individual is getting exposed to the public or what relationship is maintaining with the family maintaining with the friends as well as community this also in influence on the individual health coming on the environmental health so environmental health depends upon the place where he stays the air the water he consume the food habits as well as the safe of waste disposal so all this will be influencing the environmental aspects which in turn uh, have the impact over the individual health occupational health so occupational health is nothing but uh, before getting to the certain exposure such as the rays the air or any other noise related occupation he has to take the specific precautions to overcome those hazards where he will be uh, harming uh, the individual health so this care has to be taken and moreover in occupational health one has to have a clear differentiate between the working period as well as the leisure period so what we are seeing in day to day lifestyle is the more uh, the individuals or the population are more exposed for the work uh, parallelly they are not having the proper leisure period which is having the impact over the their individual health coming to the emotional health come emotion uh, health it is the main aspect what we are seeing in the present scenario so the patients or the individual the population is, is uh, not having the st uh, stability in the society so in yoga we will say samatvam yoga uchyate in the sense balance the uh, positive and negative is nothing but the emotion so when you are happy you should not fly or when you are sad you should not depressed or you should not have negative thoughts so one should be having positive uh, principles without any uh, undestructive or non destructive way coming to the spiritual level it all depends upon the individual aspects where he uh, trust or he prays so according to the spiritual health one will be having normal uh, one ethics 
morals and values it's not about when when we are uh, considering at, as a community there are uh, different aspects which will be influencing and coming to the mental health so mental health which will be having sound thinking so taking self decision and dealing with the conflicts so mental health is the main aspect which will be influencing over the uh, the individual's life okay thank you